Hey guys. So uh, I posted a video back in February 2019, um, my ninth progress video, Growing Crops. And uh, I got a lot of questions and feedback on that video. It's up to 1,100 views now, my second most watched video. And uh, so I figured I'd make a video now, now that I've improved some of the, the systems and also you know, overall look of the game. Uh, so what you're seeing here is what I posted February um, of 2019, and it's sped up, but I got the basics down, tilling, watering, and uh, the day-night cycle to make the crops grow. Now, what you're seeing here is current, so I added some dust particle effects and a little bit of a different animation for the, the tilling. And instead of a water bucket, I made a uh, watering can and a different effect to actually make the, uh, the water come out and the, the, pl the plot to be watered. Um, so also for this video, I added a little bit of procedural generation to add some trees and grass and things like that. And uh, I kind of talked about this a little bit in the last video. Now one of the new features I did add was weather and I just made it so that weather will or rain will actually water the the the, uh, the ground so the player doesn't have to if it rains and uh, that seems to be working well. So for the next part of the video I just want to go into um, a little bit of that how everything works and uh, go through the scripts. So on to the uh, tutorial part of this growing crops video. Um, so a lot of the systems are similar to what I did back in February, but I did change a few things and uh, right now everything's working pretty well. There's still some bugs, but overall the system's working um, as intended. So there's four scripts here, four main scripts that allow you to, you know, till the soil, water the soil, and then seed the soil. And to start off, we have terrain tile. So eventually I want to make different types of terrain, uh, but for this video, it's just the, the soil tile that we're looking at. So right now I have different materials which show uh, dirt, grass, tilled, seeded, and a hole we could ignore for now. That's something else. Um, but I have... A few methods here that allow you to change the actual material of the tile and the type of tile. So we'll just go down the line here. So to start off, um, when till tile is called, uh, is till becomes true, and if if seeded was true, then it becomes false. And the actual tile that you're seeing, it's really just a plane but it will change the material to be uh, tilled. So if I go into Unity here, I'm gonna go into one of my, uh, my soil tiles here. Soil tile prefab. Open. Okay. So this is really all it is, it's just a plane with a, a soil texture on it. And if you go look at the actual soil tile script, which derives from that terrain tile script we were just looking at, um, there's four, five, four different materials that we're looking at for this video. So we have material dirt, material grass, material tilled soil, and then material uh, seeded soil. So when something is actually, when a tile is actually tilled, it just changes the material to, um, to that, and that's just the tilled um, material that I made. It's just a simple uh, texture I made in, in GIMP, and I created a new material called matte underscore uh, tilled soil. So the logic is the same for all these. When it becomes dirt, it's dirt. Tilled and seeded is, is really just a different material. So it looks like there's seeds on it, but really it's just a, a different texture. So going back to the scripts here, 
once it's tilled, it's tilled, it's, it's tilled becomes true. And as shown before, if the weather is actually rainy, after you till it, it becomes watered. So it makes it more realistic. So what was happening before was that if you till it and there is no, um, nothing showing what kind of weather it is, it would just stay as the dry tile. And it wouldn't really make sense because normally when you till something you know, and it's raining, it'll become watered um, when you change it. Uh, change to dirt tiles pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it just changes the material to dirt. Um, now, after you till it, you're going to see the tile. And what I've done is create this method. So when seed tile is called, it's going to pass through a seed, which I could pull up here. Let's see. So seed is just a scripted little object that I made, and it holds information such as uh, the different sizes of the plants that they'll be in the different crop sizes, as well as how many days are required to go to each stage, which I have four stages, seedling stage, uh, vegetative, flowering, and then harvest stage. So each time uh, a tile is watered with a seed on it, it adds a day to that tile. And if that day is greater than or equal to the day required for each of the, the states, it will change that, um, that plant to a different stage. But I won't go into that for this video. Uh, I'm just going to try to keep it simple here. So when you seed a tile, um, is seeded becomes true, is tilled is false because it's no longer a tilled tile, it's a seeded tile. Um, the tile occupant becomes the new plant. So you take the, the seed um, dot plant, if you go back to here, um, each scriptable object will have a, a transform, whatever type of plant it is. For this video, I use carrot. So it's going to plant a, uh, a carrot and uh, it's going to change the the scale to zero zero zero. So the game object's actually there, but it's so it's zero zero zero, so it's it's not going to show at all. And as it gets um, as it grows, it's going to change the size of the plant. And so far, it's working pretty well. Where I don't have to keep changing the different model where I used to back in February of last year. Now it's just. The game object's there and it just grows in size as um, the day's waters, watered increases. Um, and then as done with the till tile, the, the material becomes seeded. And depending on the weather, again, it becomes watered or it becomes dry. Um, water tile just changes the, the current color of the material of the tile to a darker. So 1111 or 111 of the new color will just be the normal color. And then 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 makes it a darker version of that particular color when it's watered. Now, after, let me go into, um, Now, my date manager here is, is I, I went over it in a video in the past, um, but there's a timer that goes while the player is playing. And once a certain um, time is reached, a day is called. And at that point, um, it will call um, a day to soil tiles. So every to soil tile that's in the game currently, this method will be called. Um, And so soil tile that add day, and then we go back to uh, the terrain tile, which has the add day method on it. And once add day is called, and if it's watered and it has a tile occupant, and the tile occupant is a plant, it's going to call um, on that plant add day of growth. Now, I'll go to my plant script now. And where it says add day of growth, this is where it will 
add um, a day to the current day is watered. And if that current day is greater than or equal to one of the required uh, days needed for one of the stages. So we have the seedling stage, flowering stage, vegetative stage, stage and harvest stage. Um, if it meets one of those, it's going to set the plant scale and the crop scale um, of either one of those plants. So for the carrot, being that it's not a, there's no separate crop, a carrot is just the plant. All it is going to do, it's going to change the size of the plant based on whatever stage it is. Uh, I guess this is getting a little complicated now, but going to my scriptable object in Unity, we have, let me pull up the carrot, because that's what we used in this video. And so seed carrot. So the days required, and I just set it up here, one day for seedling, two day for vegetative, um, three for flowering, and four for harvest. Now, these are the sizes that it's going to be. So it's going to be um, a quarter, a half, and then uh, three quarters of the scale. And then once it's ready to harvest, it's going to be the full scale of one. Uh, going back to the scripts here. So it's going to change the plant scale. And then uh, going back to the add day. So it's going to add the day of growth, as we said in the plant script. And then it's going to change the, the actual soil to dirt again. So it's not going to show seeded because it's, you know, it's not seeded anymore. There's a plant. And the tile occupant um, is that plant. So going back to the plant script, once there's enough days watered to make it a harvest stage, it will then become um, able to harvest and the player can actually you know, pick up the carrot and it goes into the, the player's inventory. Um, so this is just the basics of how everything's set up. I think I covered everything involving this uh, growing crops system. And uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I could do a more um, detailed tutorial or, or go over some or answer your questions in the comments. Um, just let me know. And uh, and yeah, thanks for watching.